Yo, what is up guys, Boris here coming to you guys with a walkthrough of the Zero Stamina Law Training Island that just came out a few days ago on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan. Now, in my opinion, I think this is going to be the toughest Zero Stamina thus far and it, I mean, it just, it's really difficult. So far there's only a handful of teams that can beat this so far and the really... The key to this zero stamina is going to be what you see on my screen as my captain. That's right, I am using God Kobe as the captain. This guy is going to carry us to victory. Now of course, I do have to let you guys know this is not God Kobe, this is not the original Kobe or Fortnite Kobe. This is actually a brand new Kobe which was released a few Seagull Fest batch. I think it's actually the previous Seagull Fest batch during the Akainu one I believe. Um, and the reason that he is instrumental to clearing this zero stamina island is the fact that he can remove one of the newest debuffs that was introduced with the Akainu raid boss. Now if you guys don't know, the Akainu raid boss introduced a brand new debuff that prevents all healing to your team. That includes auto heal sockets, that includes uh, meat orbs, that includes any type of healing special. And as you see right here, right now, I just got that debuff placed upon me. So, I can go ahead and use Kobe's special, and it'll get rid of that. Now, it does have to be at level 3, I believe, to permanently get rid of it. And on top of that, uh, you have to be below 3k HP to use it. So, keep that in mind. That's why I'm not going ahead and using it immediately. It's because I do have to be below 3000 HP, I believe, to use the special. So... I mean, this Kobe. If you don't have him, it's gonna have, it's gonna be pretty difficult taking uh, on this Fortnite. But thankfully, this team right here that I'm using right now does allow you to use a Kobe as a friend captain. So if you do have a friend who plays OPTC Japan, you can ask him to put up Kobe as a captain, and you can use it to swap around Corazon and Kobe. Now, as to the rest of the team, let me go over some of the stuff that I have here. So there, I have level. 5 auto heal. That means I'm healing a thousand per turn and that's sort of important. That's actually a very important because you're going to be doing a lot of healing with this team. You see here I have Corazon. I have brought Corazon as one of the captains and he is a healing captain. Again, if you guys don't know, anytime you hit a good, you heal a lot. And even if you hit a great, you do heal a little bit. So one of the main strategies we're going to be seeing throughout this uh, zero stamina is me just stalling out my specials by hitting good 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 six goods in a row uh, plus level um, five auto heal plus any sort of meat orb and I'm healing about 7k plus each turn it's pretty incredible so that's definitely something that you're going to want to keep in mind with this team is that you will need to be <laughs> on point with your goods your greats and your perfects because there's a great shield somewhere in here your perfects are going to be really important and your goods are going to be more important than anything. Now, the reason that I'm saying perfects are going to be important is because of the fact that Kobe's captain ability uh, boosts depending on the number of perf perfects. So I believe the more perfects you hit, the better. I believe it's like after two perfects, after four perfects, after five perfects, I believe. So it's, it's sort of like a mini version of Law, Legend Law's captain ability. It's really cool and it actually allows you to do some pretty good amount of damage with this team. Now. Uh, some other units that we've brought with this team is uh, obviously Corazon for the heal, uh, not just the special, not just the, the the captain ability heal, but his special heal will also come in handy. We've gone ahead and brought Raid Boss Sabo. You're gonna want to use Raid Boss Sabo with any sort of healing or zombie team. Uh, I even like just a normal team. Like this Raid Boss Sabo is insane, and I, you definitely do need him for this. Um, on top of that, we're also bringing uh, Strong Will Usopp again, four socket spots and. 10% HP cut, really nice, on top of the 3 turn delay. We brought Legend Dofi, uh, who I recently got and recently maxed and got his sockets good, good to go. Um, he's going to be really awesome. One thing I do recommend is move, maybe move, I, I, I sort of misplaced Dofi. Uh, Dofi, you're going to want to place him uh, somewhere where you don't get that bother or because uh, I didn't mention this, but in the previous room, uh, there's going to be, I believe, um, is it Foxy? One of the characters, whoever you hit him with and whoever kills him, uh, will get a 99 turn uh, orb lock and a bother orb eventually down the road. So, um, I, you know, I sort of messed up my placement there. This was my first run of the day, by the way, guys. This is my first run, pretty much first attempt with an actual team. Uh, so, you know, I was pretty surprised when I managed to beat it first try. But, um, yeah, going going down the future, I do recommend switching the slots. So, 
you know, <laughs> this way a Legend Dofi is only getting two matching orbs instead of three. But it's, I, we still managed to beat it despite that. Now, another thing that you're going to see here, uh, so let me explain the, um, the, the healing because you see here, you're going to see I just, I stalled out that entire shield and pretty much this whole uh, idea of this force, you're going to be taking damage, then you're going to be hitting great, good, 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 and healing back up. And you're going to do that, uh, and a lot of times that's going to be enough to heal you back to full. Sometimes it's not, but you know, one or two meat orbs each couple turns will do it. And uh, on top of that, the whole strategy is to deal as much damage as we can on certain turns, and then the next turn, we're going to go ahead and use our Intox special ability to deal half of what we just did. So that's going to be a big strategy and big component of what is going to allow us to complete the dungeon. Now, this is sort of the beginning of the difficult rooms. This is the first one that's a bit difficult. Uh, you have to hit him with uh, two greats before you can actually hit him. So you see there, great, great, and then again, just hit the perfects and do enough damage to hopefully take him out in two turns. Uh, with Sabo, again, this is one of the main reasons you want to bring Sabo is because he just, the amount of damage that he adds to the team is pretty insane. And really, I want to say, I want to mention that one of the reasons why I believe that this is one of the more difficult uh, training forests out there by far is the fact that these guys have a lot of HP, uh, a lot of HP, and not just in this room, in all the other rooms. I mean, this is one of the more difficult rooms in the, in the dungeon, and we're only on room 16. So that really tells you something about it. I mean, this young Dofi has a million HP. They have to deal. Uh, on top of that, remember, he has a, a, a great shield, so it's pretty difficult. But again, just do that strategy. You go ahead and use Dofi plus Sabo. That should be able to take him out in two turns. Then you, have, uh, you should have some more turns to take out Virgo. And then, once you take out Virgo, you're going to be stalling on Senor Pink. Again, pretty easy stall on him. Uh, it's not going to be too difficult to heal back up to full every two turns or every turn, I guess. And, you know, just you're doing those goods, you're going to deal, rack up a good amount of damage over, you know, X number of turns. And maybe sometimes if you have matching orb, you can try to go for it. But seriously, you know, I recommend just trying to play it safe. No reason to, uh, you know, do anything too crazy. Sometimes the problem with this team is that you might actually get him too low and then you don't have enough time to stall. So definitely, like I said, always keep in mind that you do want to be stalling. So don't do too much damage to the point where you can't continue stalling because you don't have to hit all those goods. It does do actually a decent chunk of damage over time. So, here we go, room 17, we're getting pretty far into the dungeon. At this point, you know, you're starting to say, man, I actually, I might actually clear it, but no, nothing, no, no guarantees yet. There's still a lot of tough parts coming up. So, in this room, again, you're going to go ahead and use your Sabo and your Dofi and Usopp, and we're going to go ahead and try to take out a couple of guys here uh, who do have a one turn cooldown. And then, and then next turn, we're going to use Doflamingo, not Doflamingo, sorry, Mihawk Special, and this is going to pretty much wipe out the rest of the guys. Now keep in mind that uh, Abdul and Jeet on the top left do have uh, an ability that after you kill them, uh, they're going to do something to you now. Uh, let me see what they're going to do. I actually forgot. Um, Abdul and Jeet, uh, defeat. Oh, yeah, they're going to do 1200 damage and uh, makes all your orbs bad. So uh, try to, I guess, um, it doesn't really matter. You can kill them first. It's not that much damage. And then, like I said, you've seen me here skip all the attacks, guys. I'm skipping pretty much all the stalling. I've stalled on Harujin uh, until uh, I'm ready to go, and then we move on to the... Now, this is my opinion. This is the most difficult room. I think that this is the most difficult room. Why? Both of them have 2 million HP. That is insane. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. Two guys with 2 million HP. Okay, well, that's, you might say that's not too bad, but... Let me tell you what. Luffy, when you kill him, he's gonna do some crazy stuff. He's going to he heal back up for about over 50k. And then on top of that, he's going to uh, make your captain's silence for five turns. So, <laughs> I mean, seriously, like this is this is really difficult. On top of that, loss healing every turn for 200,000. So you can tell why, how difficult this is, but our plan is simple. Go ahead and try to take him out in two turns. Uh, first turn use Sabo, second turn throw, uh, I'll go ahead and throw a Dofi special in there. Uh, and it would really help if you got a blue orb in the previous room, so I forgot to mention that, but if you can uh, farm for a blue orb on the previous room, that would really help. And then, once he revives, you'll be silent, so you can't really do anything, but you can use Intoc to take him out. Then, Law is going to be even more difficult. <laughs> um, Law, you're going to have to take out a similar, where we're going to want to, the turn we defeat him, we want to go into the next room, into the 19th room, with uh, Intox special ready to go. So, 
And he's also, remember, he's going to be healing 200,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, uh, once we have all our specials ready to go, we're going ahead and heal back up to full with uh, Kobe plus Corazon. We're going to go ahead and use uh, Usopp, not Golden Pound, but Strong World Usopp to stall him. We're going to attack for three turns, try to deal as much damage as we can. Uh, again, he heals back, back uh, 200,000, but you can deal a little bit more than that every turn. So you are, you know, dealing small chunks. And then uh, once he's down to two turns, uh, because after three turns of attack, he'll be down to two turns. That's when you're going to go ahead and use your Sabo special uh, to try to go ahead and deal a good amount of damage. Try to get him as close to, to you know, below 50% as you can. Um, he's going to heal back up, and then you're going to go ahead and use Dofi. Um, and so hopefully, you know, with uh, Sabo, you're going to deal as much damage as you can. And then the next turn with Dofi, you're going to be able to take him out. Keep in mind that we I actually failed this twice. So I actually got him to around 1-2%. to um, But... Uh, that did, didn't matter because I could just restall for everything. So if you do fail this part, this in my opinion is the hardest part, but you can redo it as many times as you want because you can just keep stalling. So if you don't kill him, he will heal back to full and then you can just restall and do it all over again like in, you know, 20 something turns. So, you know, it, it, we did do that. We did do that twice. I, I skipped this. So this is actually my third attempt at killing him. Uh, so we stalled probably around 60 turns on this room, but we, there we did. We killed him and now we're on to 19th room. And again, we're going to use our Intox special to deal half of what we dealt that last turn. That's going to do a lot of damage. Considering Law, you know, we just did like probably what, like a million damage to Law somewhere around there. So, a lot of damage. That's where that Kobe uh, uh, orb really helps. And keep in mind also, guys, I am using the Whitebeard ship. I forgot to mention that. And my Kobe is not even max. It's like level 60-something. So, uh, keep that in mind. So, like I said, I went ahead and used Intox. And as you can see there, we wiped out almost everyone. Then you have five turns to take out Elizabello and three turns to take out Dagama, so it's not that big of a deal. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and take out Dagama, and then we're going to take out Elizabello, and then from there, uh, it's pretty simplistic. If you made it this far, uh, you, you know, you're at that point where you're, you're pretty safe. You, you, you have about a 99% chance of clearing it, because this part is pretty easy once you defeat Elizabello. So once you defeat Elizabello, you're going to want to stall on Cavendish as much as you can, because when you kill him, he'll actually become Hakuba. <laughs> You see here, so I stalled there, he became Hakuba, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I think, believe use Golden Pound Usopp because I don't think, and I, go, I keep calling him Golden Pound. I'm gonna go ahead and use Strong World Usopp on this room because I do not believe you can use it in the next room. And that is going to allow me uh, to stall a little bit longer too, Corazon, Usopp. You, you, you want to save your damage dealing specials for later, so uh, four turns is more than enough to take out uh, Hakuba. Um, actually, I could probably take him out in two very easily, but again, you you know, just stall a little bit. Um, so, you, you know, because you probably want to gonna stall for a Corazon in the next room. So, it just will save you a couple turns, but no, no big deal if you don't. Um, and, yeah, with that said, we're on to the final room. And again, at this point, you should be pretty, you know, it's about a 99% chance. I mean, if you mess up on the final burst on Law, then yeah, you could die. But for the most part, you should have it in the bag. You can even play it super safe, and I'll explain that in a little bit. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So, uh, first off, you're going to target the guys in the back, and you're going to go Doflamingo plus Sabo. Uh, you're going to deal a lot of damage. Try to take, Definitely try to take out um, Sachi and Penny. You should be e easily able to take those guys out. Potentially take out Beppo as well. Um, and that's going to deal enough damage where Intoc is going to do a good amount of damage on John Bart. you see here, and then we're going to take him out. So, again, this, this just shows how powerful Sabo is. Like, he... It deals so much damage, uh, and especially on these healing teams and zombie teams that don't normally have a lot of output. That really does a good number on them. So he's going to block a special. This is the one tricky part of the... Oh, I completely forgot about this. Um, yeah, he blocks one of your guys. So I actually don't know if... Uh, is that random or is that based on... Uh, let me double check, see if I can find... No, I think it's a random guy gets sealed for three turns. So that could actually pose a problem. Um, I guess I got lucky there. So I guess something something I forgot to mention. I completely forgot about that. So you, he will steal one of your random guys for three turns. I don't know if you can re-roll it. You might be able to re-roll it. Um, so you might want to be vigilant on that. But pretty much you're going to... It's going to be a lot of healing. A lot of healing. And then when you get a chance. When you maybe you get a purple orb. Go ahead and deal some damage to him. And so as you see there. I got him right above 50%. At this point I got all my specials up and running. Go ahead and use Sabo. Go ahead and do Flamingo. And this is, should be a pretty easy two-shot kill. As long as you hit your perfects. You see there. Uh, you got two turns, he doesn't really do anything, so go ahead and just hit your perfects, and you should have it in the bag. And that is the law 
zero stamina training island with a Kobe captain and Corazon friend captain. Really awesome team and for this you get the lost submarine. Let me go over what it does real quick. It'll boost law, uh, slashers and freedoms uh, by 1.5 attack and 1.25 HP. So it's really awesome for legend law captain. It'll also make perfects easier to hit which again really awesome for legend law captain. On top of that it does have an ability to heal 10k HP but you have to be below a certain threshold. I'm not entirely sure what that is yet. But uh, pretty awesome ship if you have legend law. If you don't I'm not sure if you'll be using it too often but it's definitely awesome to find I've completed all training for us once again. Hopefully they don't announce one anytime soon because these are kind of annoying to do. But they are pretty fun. Um, so with that said guys, let me know how your uh, zero stamina log went. Let me know if you have this team or whatever. And yeah, hopefully you guys have Kobe because he is freaking awesome. So with that said guys, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, peace.